So, what is the neighbourhood plan? Well, I think, uh, you know, as we know, it's being prepared for the people of Westbury, by the people of Westbury. It's not just a political thing, it's something that's been produced by meetings between the community and the council. And following feedback, then we're all going to get the chance to vote on it. Mm. And you and I have been involved in that. We have. For something like nearly three years, it I is, think. Yeah. Except COVID got in the way a little yeah, bit. Yeah, exactly. We couldn't have meetings so easy, but um, we did uh, work pretty hard on it. And uh, I think I've walked more of Westbury um, on this project than uh, ever before. Actually, yes, that, that uh, you know, there were a couple of uh, highlights, I think, for me during the process, and, and one of those uh, was about taking photographs and actually having to walk through the, the area that I was covering for, for the character map and um, to actually see buildings that I'd driven past time and time again. And without actually ever really seeing them, and it's amazing how many interesting, old, uh, really valuable buildings there are. You do, you look at your community and your town in a completely different mm. light, and you see things that have always been there in a way that you haven't noticed them mm. or seen them before. And that's been really helpful, I think, to, to the whole process and understanding um, how to put this project together. Absolutely, and I think, uh, I mean, you and I were both uh, involved in the uh, design, development and housing uh, uh, working group um, and we started relatively late. There were other working groups um, that have covered things like transport and heritage. Um, so everybody's gone through the same kind of process. Uh, when we uh, were working through it, the other interesting thing was um, going out and looking at all the different sites. Yeah. Yeah, there's been, been an interesting part of the process to find where more development can go in the town. And that, uh, and that walk about to find those sites and identify them and, and assess them as we went was mm -hmm. a very important part of that process. Uh, and once this plan's all been done, I guess the next step is going to be um, submitting it to Wiltshire Council to get them to approve mm -hmm. the hard work that the, that the Town Council and the members of the various subcommittees and the steering group have been doing for the last yeah. uh, two or three years. And um, this that we're sitting in front of is part of the uh, exhibition that will be used for the consultation for people uh, through September and into October. And that's a, a formal stage that it has to go through uh, to go out and ask people what they think of it. So at the moment, it really is only a draft. Well, absolutely. We're, we're dependent upon the feedback we get from the public, and I hope that they are going to feed back. It's, you know, always the case that people afterwards will say, I would have told you this if. Mm. Um, and let's, you know, let's get the people out there to tell us exactly what they think. Um, let's face it, it, it is, it's a weighty document. We can't get away from the fact that there are certain things that you have to comply with, things that have to go into it. But there are essential pieces that we can draw out of it. Uh, certainly from, from our group in terms of looking at potential development sites and uh, we've got those two up here. Um, and I think uh, inevitably people will pick up on those, those things because I have to say that when I moved back to Westbury and got involved with this group, um, your first inkling is to say Westby's had a lot of development, I don't think we need any more. Yeah. Um, but actually going through this process you can see how um, for a town to stay alive you actually do need to generate uh, more homes, more incomes, more employment opportunities. Yes, so much so. So often the, the comments back are, well, we don't need more, more houses, we need more things happening in the town centre. And unfortunately, one won't happen without the other. We need the people to drive the demand for things to happen in the town mm -hmm. centre. Mm -hmm. So after this consultation, um, what happens next in this long process? We have the consultation and then, the, then it is... Um, it is submitted to a planning inspector 
who will then uh, consider the recommendations of the document uh, and will come out with this report, providing he allows us to proceed, we will then allow the people of Westbury to vote. Mm, yes. It's democratically democratic process yeah. on whether we adopt the uh, the neighbourhood plan or not. Mm.